So uh, session five today was on multilateralism and, uh, and, and governance. And uh, we had uh, several interesting speakers. It was chaired by the uh, senior advisor to the uh, Minister of Finance, who structured the thing, the, the whole session around uh, multilateralism uh, and, and, and governance issues. Uh, we had um, Mari Pangetsu, who is a former managing director of the World Bank, who has deep experience in terms of managing a multilateral institution, in this case, the, uh, the, the World Bank. And so she gave us some really interesting ideas in terms of how the multilateral system can be reformed to basically help us achieve the, 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 the G20 uh, agenda. Um, Ram, who's from uh, the India Foundation, uh, gave us sort of a, a, a bird's eye view of the, the Indian perspective on, uh, on, on multilateralism uh, and how this is anchored, anchored in, in, in cultural issues. Uh, and then uh, my small contribution was uh, basically to talk about um, health issues uh, and the vulnerability of countries in the Global South and how this has to be taken into account. And I tried to link that up with what Mary Pengetsu was saying about uh, trade issues because the two, the two really link up very, uh, very deeply together. Over the past day and a half, I think we've provided some excellent input for uh, Amitabh Kant for uh, the G20 Sherpa. Um, I think this is who knows what what proportion of the, the work that we did over the past the past day and a half will will get there? But it's clear when he intervened at the uh, at the end, he sort of so he he did his his take after sort of a, a summing up, and basically his point, which I think is a valid point, is that this isn't so much a financing issue; it's a it's a question of getting the assets basically flowing in the right direction from rich countries to the global south instead of being vice versa. And the the money is there; it's the question of tweaking things at the margin uh, so that uh, the money flows in the right direction. And we're, we're talking trillions. And the Sherpa's perspective on this is that actually this isn't that much. The problem is how can we reform the, the Bretton Woods institutions and the MDBs such that they become part of the solution and are no longer part of the problem. Finally, one of the things I'd like to, to, to really emphasize here is that I, I found one of the more interesting uh, parts of the conference was um, the uh, the uh, the talk, the keynote address that was given yesterday uh, by uh, by Nandan uh, Nalikani uh, on DPI. So on basically on uh, digital public infrastructure. And of course, you know this is a person who's a world leader in terms of, uh, of UPI, and India itself is a leader in this in, in this side. And I think it's 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 important that. And one of the things I think which came out of the conference is that, uh, you know, it's, it's not exactly a fluke that uh, India's leadership of the presidency of the G20 has been, uh, has, has, has been something which has been done with a hell of a lot of energy, simply because India is a leader in these fields. Uh, and I think that the, the, the India will be handing over something really, really, really functional to Brazil, who, are the, who will have the next, uh, the next presidency. This conference is essentially one of, one of my priorities, I have a small number of priorities taking over GDN. One of my priorities is that GDN hasn't done anything in India in a long time. And this collaboration with IDRC and with Niti Aayog uh, is the first step in what I hope will be a much deeper re-engagement of, uh, of GDN in India.